truck I'm investing here. I just want to show y'all some breakdowns, some numbers on one truck. One truck. I've been busy doing taxes because I had a tax business. But I want to show you these numbers so you can understand how you can still make a lot of profit off the trucking business with a one box truck in 2023. So we were in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we started off on the second Oklahoma City, picking up a load. The third in Garland, Texas, picking up a load. Pretty much two partials. Dropped off one in Tallahassee, Florida. Then dropped off the next one in McLeansville, North Carolina. Then had to go to Dobbins, North Carolina to pick up. And we dropped a load off in Las Vegas. Went from Las Vegas, San Mateo, California. Then went from San Mateo, California, right across to San Francisco. Picked up a load, went to Salt Lake City. Then from Salt Lake City, went to Tampa. And that was 7,597 miles. Which I spent around $4,381 for gas. Then my driver left Tampa, went to Orlando. My driver had to sit for about three days in Orlando because it was bad loads coming out. He lives up in the Philadelphia area, the B more area. And so anywhere going up there would work. So we finally found a load that was coming out of Florida. It came out of Jacksonville. So we went to Jacksonville. Then he dropped a load off of Philly. Then we started off back on that Monday. And I got a load in Philadelphia, which was two pallets. And then I found another load in Middletown. So this load in Philadelphia was going to basically Chicago area, Aurora, Illinois. And then this load in Middletown, which is an hour, like an hour and 10 minutes away from Philadelphia, was going to Wisconsin. So we took that route, picked up, picked up, went to Chicago, Aurora, basically, Chicago area, then Milwaukee. Then we got a load in Franksville, Wisconsin, headed down to Lebanon. Then we went from Lebanon to Dayton, Ohio. That was 24 140 miles and then we went from Dayton, Ohio to Fenton, Michigan dropped off a load straight, it was a straight shot from that night in Dayton, Ohio then the next day we got a load from Howell, Michigan around like 4.30 went all the way to South Carolina in the morning then it was Friday which was two days ago and it was time for him to go back to the Philadelphia b more area living between both places also he's an Eagles fan so you know the team's about to play so I worked it where he had to go down from Duncan to go pick up in Gaston which was two pallets heading to Mannheim Pennsylvania the next day and then I got him a load in Somerville heading to Hagerstown on Monday he dropped, and he dropped the Mannheim off yesterday and went to Philly where he lives at. And then he's going his way to Baltimore where he also lives at. And he'll be dropping us off in the morning. And that was a total of 1,895 miles. So the 2,770 miles is about 15, 1,600. And then you have 1,895, which is about $1,100. These are loads I just described that we took. This is one driver, by the way. One driver, he moves. He said he wanted to do a month and then take two weeks off. Because we, we usually rotate three weeks on, one week off. He wanted to go a month and then take off because he got to go out of the country. When you have a real driver or you're a serious driver yourself, if you own an operator, you can do these type of things. Granted, it's my trucking business. This is one of my trucks. And I dispatch my trucks. If I have a team that dispatches other trucks but I stopped doing that for about the last two months just to get some other things situated but my point of showing you this is you can make some decent money matter of fact my driver he made six thousand two hundred ninety four dollars for this one month that's with a hundred dollar bonus and I gave him an extra sixty dollars early in the week so hundred six dollar bonus so this is January and it's the first of the year and we were able to do some decent numbers right 2023 can be good for you too if you focus on 
driving the right way, driving with a purpose, getting the right loads, and understanding that this is the trucking business. Now, me, I probably dispatch for over, I don't know, 46 different trucking companies. And me calling back and seeing how they doing, some people have fell out the business because they haven't focused on having the, the amount of money they need on the side. You know, sometimes you guys will rent a truck and don't do the math on how much it's really gonna cost you to move. So you don't know how much you get rate per mile, right? I can literally move my truck all around the nation knowing that I spent a decent amount of money to repair or fix anything that comes up. I have a low truck note for this truck. Granted, my insurance used to be 1400 but I had a driver before. He's a good guy. He just had an issue and it made my, he backed into a car. He backed into, excuse me, a semi truck that was parked and they basically went off and we in litigation right now, but it's my insurance company. I use Progressive, by the way. Progressive is great. And that raised my insurance up about 4800 a month, about 4800 a year. So I'm like 1825 versus 1400 before. So that's a little bit higher, but I know my numbers. I know my numbers. And this is not a business you just jump into and you don't know what you're doing. So if you watch this, you haven't been in this business. Um, I do consulting for $200 for one hour if you want to be consulted to save you time. Because a lot of times people do not know what they're going to do with this business. They have an assumption of I'm going to make a lot of money. So it was better for you to save money. And when I first started off in this business on the trucking part, because I was doing logistics since 98, I went out and paid somebody to give me some advice. And the honest God truth is they told me one thing that saved me a lot of money. They told me several things, but the one thing I got from them saved me a lot of money, right? So if you want to get consulted, you can also text the number and I can talk to you about consulting this $200. On another note, if you have a trucking business and some of you guys do not know how to do your taxes at all or you have the wrong people that are doing your taxes or you're spending all this money on the road getting gas doing a lot of stuff and you don't keep up with your books i have a business but keeping parrot that we conduct all your taxes and catch everything up some people might be missing out on free money some people might be in a position to lose their business some people may owe the IRS. Listen, if you don't pay the IRS right now, they're going to catch up to you in three years. And then they're going to charge you a fee. But we can organize everything for you and get together. If you watch my channel, this is all me. I put all this together. I've been in business going on 21 years, self-employed. Started from the streets. Got into the internet suites before a lot of people. And learned a lot of things. And this is just one of my many businesses that I've had over the time. And if you guys are in trucking, I think you're going to get in trucking or have been watching videos on trucking, you know that this is not an easy business. And this week, I still was able to maintain, because I was focused on this one truck. I was able to maintain this one truck while my daughter was sick and with me for the entire week. She had to go to ER uh, Tuesday morning. She was sick from Friday, had to go to ER Tuesday morning, which my mom took her, but my mom works. And I had her with me every single day from actually seven years, seven days. So I'm telling you that I'm seasoned with this. I deal with numbers differently. My business does five million. Um, with this trucking authority I have, I got different ones. Listen, I'm not looking to do anything as far as help somebody start their trucking business. I'm not doing that right now. But if you want to deal with your taxes or you need consultant work, you can go ahead and contact me at the number or move forward. Hopefully this video can help you. You can look at the other videos on here. You can always subscribe to the channel. I'm not putting out that many videos lately because I'm trying to make sure I focus on other things. And even though my drivers is moving nonstop, we got three trucks on the road. I wanted to show you this one driver and how you can set off the year in 2023 being successful. Be safe.